Good evening, and hello. I see somebody's there. Uh, it's Monday. Monday's over. At least the work day's over. So yay. Uh, I hope. Oh, I hope anyone coming upon this. I hope uh, or watches later. I hope they have a great night, or having a good day, or whatever. Whenever they watch this. And it's back to painting grog. So tonight I think I'm going to focus on, or try to focus on the shoulder and the gauntlets. And whatever other details I can possibly figure out to do tonight. So I'm going to do the usual first thing. I will wait and see because I'm sure other people will drop by the tavern. I mean this is a kind of drop in sort of place. <clears throat> But now I get started because when we get more people, I just get an order from Reaper and want to show up the cool stuff I got. And <clears throat> what else? And of course, um, I'm trying to think if there's, there's things I want to show off that have been thrown in my Discord. And maybe a little bit of stuff that I've been working on too. So, Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to Google Images. As I like to do, I'm going to look up the Legend of Vox Machina pictures and see what we got. So the shoulder for that is much more plain than what we've got here. Coming with, I still do have to do work on the belt too, but I think I'm going to start with this. I also have all sorts of belt uh, buckles and things like that too that I can do <coughs> that are on his straps. And I think I'm going to start with the shoulders. He's got the skull in there, which is not on the, the animated artwork. Also looks like there's a little bit, let's see. I think actually, once again, because this is uh, <coughs> hard to see. Like the details are a lot smaller than a lot of minis, so I tend to have to resort to these when painting this these critical role minis. But I really like them, so I like the love the details. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is they're definitely well they're black but they're they're black but they end up going to like a brownish black. Yeah, warm black. Pull up the black. I'm running out of room on my wet palette. This is actually I could probably clean them off. Let me grab my brushes and move them over. And because I can't see anything beyond here with these, uh, let's see. I'm trying to pick up a brush I want to use. Maybe I'll use. Hmm. It's hard. Decisions, decisions. It's like I'm just saying whether I want to go small or large on this. Yeah, we'll go with this. It's got a good tip to it, so. I use my number. What the hell is that? Number one, Winsor Newton. My newer one. So I think I'll paint this part of it black. Actually, I'd probably paint the whole thing black. <clears throat> Other than uh, where I think, I think this is fur. So other than that, I'm going to paint the rest of it black. And maybe I'll do the skull like I did the other. Maybe it'll be bone, so like I did the uh, belt buckle.
keep wanting to move the axe out of the way, but that's not how it works. And yes, I know I'm kind of going off my camera, but I'm trying to see. Don't want to leave any little white spots. <clears throat> okay, and then... So let's see. His boots are also black, his gauntlets are also black. So I'm going to go with that. There is also, like on the cartoon character, there's also some lighter brown bindings around both the, uh, the boots and the gauntlets. So I'm going to try to find a way to make all that work, you know, work all that in. This is the way you get the most out of your paint, too. Painting of everything that's the same color. If you get a lot. Oh, who is that? Who is that? I'm looking at my uh, thing. Hi, Cyrus. I should have realized that's who it was. Because that's how you usually greet me. Hello, Mr. Cyrus. How are you tonight? Oh, and other people have come to join us. I'm just sitting here blabbing away. <laughs> Off, not looking at this screen, looking at uh, my reference picture which I don't actually need because I know what I'm doing now. How are people tonight? Everybody have a, oh, everyone have a decent, ah. I'm gonna start this night with a shot, yeah. Hi, Pete. Pete, oh my gosh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, before I do anything, guys. The unbelievable happened. Of course, if you're on Discord, you know this happened. Pete the Hydrator posted a mini. Yeah, I can't. I can't pirate me. Let's see. Cyanus so is doing well. Get my setup for Sailor Moon and wait for my rattlesnake to finish. Rat it's weird. You wrote it two words instead of one. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mrs. MLG also painted. Let's see. All right, we have to show. Pete, Pete, you painted something. I think it's cool. It's really cool. I hope you paint more. Display pics. He has a shiny alien pig. 
Which I believe looks like there's pink, like metallic pink and purple in there. Unless that's the light you had it under. There's the hydrate. Hold on. I'm going to have to do a hydrate. I'm going to have to drink some Coke after. Rattlesnake, I think, is one word. So that's from Pete the Hydrator. What else did we get? I said, uh, so gel tips... Oh, that's the back of it. Gel tips uh, entry for the Gold Demon Awards. I guess they don't do. Oh, it's it's green. Uh, green stuff world blinky. Oh, bluey pink. That's what bluey pink is. Oh, I'm going back to that. I guess it's bluey pink, but to me it looks purple. <laughs> purple pink. And I'll bet you, oh, maybe it just shifts between the two. Because, come think of it, if it's, if it's a color shift paint, it probably goes between blue and pink. But I like it. It's a cool... I like the... It's, it. it's simple, but it's cool. So, yeah, this is Gel Tip's awesome Adepticon entry, entry that he brought to... Uh, it, it said, apparently, unlike um, like the Reaper MSP Open... They don't just, you know, they don't have awards for everybody. So, I was going to say, I imagine, I saw some of the minis over in there in Holy Miracle. But, I don't know, I think his lighting contrast pretty good. I guess it could be a little more, but I don't know. I think it came out really, really good. And he should be really happy with it, no matter what. So, that was what he did. <clears throat> and then... Miss, Mrs. Mighty Wins of Games who drops by every so often and she welcomes everybody. She does a little quick paint of this rat. Pete the Hydrator knows who that is because that's his local store. I'm trying to think of what else, what else, what else do I want to show off? That definitely want to show off that. Okay, it's a, now you get the, the Salus and Wonderland caterpillar from Chenur. That he also quick painted. So that's basically some of the stuff that came up. I mean, where, oh, uh, well, you had the bikes, but, oh, um, Dwayne, I actually want to do this. So if he, he put it, for some reason, he put it in, I don't know if he's listening now, but he put it in the art, uh, no, sorry, he put it in one hour photo. But he's painting up the, I said, the obsidian. So I think this was the last step that he's at where he, he's base coded the whole thing now black. So that's Dwayne. Have a great night, Pete. Thank you for dropping by. I was really only showing finished stuff there. Um, otherwise, I could really... Uh, did you finish it yet? Plus, also, uh, it's kind of small. I wish he was bigger. You get a real nice picture of Make Wright's uh, uh, terrain piece there. But yeah, that's his intercessor. And then the other thing that came, well, here's what I painted at paint day. I start, I actually, if, if anybody was, you know, uh, P, uh, Crimson was there. I did paint a bit more on this last night um, just to get, so I highlighted the skin tones and I had some pink cheeks and or red lips and such. And I, I also shaved down her arms a bit because they were weird looking. <laughs> and then this is our, one of our new people. P, uh, I can't think of what his actual name is. PT is what he goes by. But he's painting this Mexi girl. All the naughty bits are covered. So I can put it up here. And he's sh basically showing the power of thinning your paint a bit. And... This is going on so much better than the, the, the last one he did. So it does work. It's, it's I think it's really cool. So that's all the stuff that came in. All right, so let me do, I'll do, I'll do the shot. Where is the shot glass with the boobs? The boob glass. Oh. The the alcohol tends to drip down the side of the thing, of the, uh, the bottle. I've noticed. Go 
Go finish it, Crimson, and then post it. Oh, God. So one advantage of having actually taking a shot with the shot glass is the fact that um, it doesn't interfere with my, my Optivisor where a normal drink kind of does. <coughs> Still freaking around. Oh, that tastes good. All right. Oh, that was good. Let's see. Yeah, no, as I was gonna say, I want to do finished stuff more than work in progresses. I don't even show normally my own work in progresses on here that unless I'm working on them on here and then you really see the work in progress. <coughs> so, not going to do decals until I finish the unit so I can do all two. Well, yeah, that makes sense. But didn't you have the, don't you have the base to do? Because I thought that was the big thing you hadn't finished painting yet, was the base. I know the rest of it's done. That will be awesome to have all three of them together, too, uh, in that shot. I'm getting close on my, getting close on those dreadnoughts, although one of them kind of had a bit of an accident. <laughs> Basically, the top part separated from the bottom. I mean, I've been transporting back and forth, so it happens. But it's okay. I just glued it. It's fine. But otherwise, they're on, they're getting there. They're just sitting right over my shoulder. So, as I said, so Greggy, I'm trying to do I uh, basically try to do all the black parts here that other than the pants they already did. Which are the gauntlets, the um the boots. I feel like there should be more to this. Oh my gosh, excuse me. And, yeah, the, the gauntlets and the boots are black. According to, is it, I'm using the animation art. Monica's, um, oh! Damn it! So, his lovely wife's zombie, who, she did a terrific job on it. You need to get pictures and post that in, um, oh, although, is it, is it actually done yet? Did she do the base? You need to get the base done in that. And get that posted because that she it's coming out terrific. Can't say enough about the colors she used. <clears throat> Cause that is definitely something I want to show and tell. Especially when it's done. So in these, I'm kind of sort of base coating everything. I may change colors on this too. You can base coat stuff black. That's not an issue. And just paint over it. Be no different than you know priming black, and people do it all the time. Well, she's oh yeah okay. As I say, you get you've got to get the pictures though, because she's not on the Discord, and that's fine. You can absolutely share her pictures of her stuff too. Um. Now I know it was. I mean, I know what she have left to do. I think. Really, other than unfortunately the arm breaking off the base, I think was pretty much it, right? She just needed, wanted to add some snow to the base. For our Arctic zombie? Skeletal, it's a skeletal zombie. But I really liked it was the light green, you know, that really, that green color she used and the blues. And it just looked really nice together. And the bone. Those looked really good with that bone color.
You know, I think I'm going to just paint this black in here too. This is a little space here and I'm not really sure what to do with it. Well, I think that is part of the hammer. When I flip this around enough in here, that is, I think it is part of the hammer. It's a little weird, but whatever, it's fine, I'll figure it out. Oh. All right, and I said his boots are black. Although I'll say, if I'm painting grog, starting the night off with a shot, not a bad thing. Grog's family who made ale and who he was famous for drinking it. Just realizing the other leg that I didn't. Uh, didn't, you know, do the. I actually see a couple of the lacings there, so maybe I have to go back and do that. So funny, a few little bobs and things on his pants that I kind of missed. <clears throat> and I think all these things I'm going to paint similarly. Actually, I'm going to shove the camera back a little bit. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Because I feel like I keep going way too high. Well, it's like it's like at a spot that I'm not comfortable putting my hand. So adjust. Yesterday was an excellent day. Though. I had a great time. We had a good turnout yesterday at the painting party. So. next month by the way Kevin next month I think it has I talked to hubby about it because I want to make sure because we discussed going back on Sunday to that con but I think we're we're not gonna do that we're so I think the next painting party it's good I did clip up my finger haha <laughs> well, I think the next painting party is gonna be the 24th so or basically a month from now I, I like that better than two weeks and then nothing for like a month and a half. So there's your early warning. When painting black, especially, or painting anything, 
when the paint's dry, go back and look and see if you missed uh, any little spots got missed. And they certainly did. It's very hard to tell when the paint is wet and reflecting light. Much in the same way a Miss Spot would. Shiny paint actually, you know, has a white highlight to it. Spot there. Ah! He would like to rage. Well, the nice thing is, Miss Monica's foot, Ms. Mrs. Monica's foot, will hopefully be healed by then. I hope. Everybody send healing vibes to, to, to Bunny. You know, to get that foot healed. But I'm glad at least they figured out what the problem was and that it'll be, that it will get better. Okay, so. I think <laughs> this is when memory is going to be fun. I'm going to try to do the lacing a little bit. Let's see. I do have paint on this that's old paint. from, And it's still good because this wet palette really keeps things wet, which is nice. All right, so one thing I found out about this wonderful wet palette, I do really like it. That said, that said though, don't put it in your bag. Uh, it actually will still leak. <laughs> so don't put it in your bag sideways because it will leach out. It's not like terrible. It's not like I've had worse had worse issues with my other palette, but let's see which one's the brush you want? Not that one. It said it's hard to tell. Definitely not that one. Where's my fire? Oh, this is going to be it. So that's been the one probably I would call, say, drawback to it. But mostly I think it's been great. All right, so I want to add, while well, I'm thinking about it, I'm going to add some stitching. There's a couple little stitching points here I see. For the most part, most of the stitching is hidden behind the hammer handle. Just going to use to make sure they match. Okay. Also, I find this shows up. Smart Goblin! Uh, probably. Oh, yeah, so there's an answer for you. You're actually the one I was just thinking of when I was saying that. So, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, what I'll do is I'll stick it in a bag or something, or I'll just leave it out and just carry it. But it's gonna be kept flat, or it will leach out. But it's not like when I flip it over, it drips water like crazy. But over the course of a couple of hours, it, it, it's, some of it definitely leaked out of my palette and out of my backpack. And I'm, I have, have a music folder. But the music folder is plastic, so it didn't really hurt anything. But I'm pretty sure I will. I mean, sometimes I don't, but I really like this, so I'm going to bring it. I have no idea what I'm going to paint there. 
Although I did sign up, I although at night I did sign up for the special if it fires. I hope you've gotten hope you've gotten some DMs. Actually, I know you've gotten some GMs. <coughs> so, because I really want to play the special. And how are you tonight? How are you tonight, Mr. Smart? Are you working on anything right now? Because you always seem to be working on something, so. It's amazing how much stuff you paint. Especially since you painted both Bobby Iger's and her hut for the challenge and did it in time. That was crazy. Okay. Nitpicking stuff here. I was gonna say, wait, you're wait, you're in my disc. Wait, you're my Discord, right? I forgot. Oh yeah, you are in my Discord. God, my it's Monday. It was a Monday, Monday. My brain is just like. So, so the fun part is at my work right now. Something, a mouse, I think, died in the wall, and now it stinks the place up. And we like had an exterminator in there trying to find it and couldn't find it. He's like, chances are I'll never find it. He goes, you just gotta wait a couple of weeks, it'll smell go away. I'm like, oh great. And then to boot, they tried to keep the window open today, but it was like 30 degrees out, so it was also cold. At least it was a somewhat it was, it was a productive day. sort of a pattern on that. Maybe I'll keep part of it black, but maybe I'll do part of that pattern. There's little squiggly lines and stuff in there. Maybe I'll do some of that like red. So I have red and black. I seem to like the whole red and black vibe for Grog. Oops, oops, over here. There goes my ear. Peace. In case anything happens. Here's that blood red paint. Oh, Middle East. I think actually my favorite color, deep red, really is actually the um, corn red by Games Workshop. But I've started with this color, so. And the black should influence it. I'm gonna kinda side brush it here work with the sculpt so that does kind of curl around in a cur little curly cue I think. That's really tough to tell. So so, so smart if you're still hanging around. I'm sure you'll learn around. Uh, 
for that special if it fires or whatever. Or maybe we can at least get a game in. I mean, if nothing else. Uh, but I mean, my friends will be there. Joe will be there. Uh, I will. The, I will be bringing not a bard to play for the special. I will be bringing because I want. I got to play low level. And my bard, my favorite bard, is level seven. Sally. My friends and Joe do not have level 7 characters, so you're locking out. <laughs> I'll be bringing a, a, a Cobalt Oracle. And Santa said, I'll be doing my best to have it all. I'm sure you will. You know what? You As long as you can find time. I think your biggest thing that works against you is your levels of spare time. You are a very, very busy person. So, so Simon said, if I could stop putting my thumb in the wet paint, then touching a dryer, that'd be great. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I caught on the, this boot here. I did the same thing, put my finger in it while it was still wet. Fortunately, I didn't put my thumb, my finger on something else that was... But I know the... I know the uh, I know that pain. All right, let's see if I can get this. This is really, really small. Like I said, a lot of things here. I could just paint the whole thing. So, I was going to say, also, you also have things like the pandemic and people going away against you, too. And Paxis. Oh, my God. I can't believe. Actually, I can. I think um, in the long run, I think this con will be better for Pathfinder. I, Paxis is cool, but I think this, you know, that's more of a video game convention. It's Pax Unplugged that's a good one for Pathfinder. But it's funny, because I thought PAX East was earlier in the year. But once again, pandemic has screwed everything up. I thought it was earlier. Like, it was like two weeks after TotalCon. This time it's like two months after TotalCon, so... Damn it. It was scheduled for the first weekend of March and they changed. Yeah. That's what I see. Yeah, that's what I figured. It should. That's usually when it is. Jerks. <laughs> nah, I should leave that. This is like. I said, I remember doing it. I remember GMing for you. It was the same year I painted up the um, graveyard golem for you. And then I thought I was going to paint myself one and never did. I have two more of those minis. 
And trust me, no regrets. I'm really glad I did the one for charity. So, for extra life. I'm going to go over it again to strengthen the red a little bit. Where the hell does it go? <laughs> also feel like one side is a lot simpler than the other. Now well, let's see. Maybe it isn't. Actually, I think I'm going to paint this too and try to leave a little space between the two. Be right back when I get daughter from work. Okay. Have a safe trip. So, this is why I'm a slow painter. <laughs> okay, I can see a little better over here. How's the other one go? Okay, so it goes like that. Okay, I think I get a handle on how this goes now. You swear the pattern is slightly different or they did it differently that's okay it's artsy
No, I'm going to spend this whole flipping two hours just doing this one shoulder pad. <laughs> I said I was like a slow painter. <laughs> Wait. I thought you were being right back. And my snake just hits 40. There's something wrong there if it's going 16 hours more than it said it was supposed to. What the hell? That's weird. Of course, it's also possible that one side of this is a little bigger than the other. Maybe this why this side is a little more complicated. Or the, maybe just the way it was rendered was... I suppose I could do it similarly. I think I see... I just don't want to make it too red, but I think this is still going to be okay. And it's still going to be the right vibe that I'm looking for. I guess I could have just cheated and, you know, painted it all red and then washed it black, but eh. But I think I want to, I said, I'm trying to take it up a notch, so. I think I'll leave the bottom of that black. I'll just highlight it. Okay, this is actually some decent metal. This is grog music.
Well, I mean, I knew that, but you weren't going to be my tech anyways. That was never going to happen. That was never, ever, ever going to happen. No, I'm glad you found another job. That place, place was, uh, well, annoying. I mean, I saw enough of your complaints. I don't know how Danny Boy does it. Okay, the prints take on because the snake, uh, snake is articulated. Okay, yeah, so you can actually bend it and things when you're done. If it's a solid piece, the estimate time would be close to the actual print time. Okay, that makes sense. You know, my shoulder hasn't bothered me like that much in like a while. It was bad before, but now it's like, it's been fine. This is tonight, it feels cranky. <laughs> I could make it, that might be cool though. Make that skull match like the belt buckle here. And then just highlight this here. Oh, it's way far south. So highlight this down here so that it's, um, that but it'll, it'll raise is black. But yeah, congratulations, and um, I hope uh, we'll get a bit of a smart goblin. I hope, uh, I sincerely hope that it is, it's your final place before you retire someday. Oh, uh, I'm like, I don't know, I'm like, I feel like I'm like one of the rarest people out there because I actually am going to work at one place, at least that's the plan until I retire, hopefully in 15 years, to do this. That's what I'd like to do. As for whether or not that happens, who knows? That was my bony colors. Welcome back, Mr. Crimson. So I am going to do this, this similar, to what I did on the belt. Mm -hmm. 17 years, I've been, I've been at my place for, <clears throat> it will be. 28 years on April 12th of this year. <laughs> Honestly, the only reason why I remember that is my parents' anniversary was April 11th. So I started working the day after the, my, uh, their anniversary. I was about to sit down to dinner when I got the call saying, hey, why don't you come work for us? Oh, Bunny is playing, Bunny's playing 14. Okay, cool.
Yeah, that bunny should go visit, um, bunny should go visit, uh, Blam, because it's Minecraft Monday. He's just going to be going on live real soon, like any minute now. It's 8 o'clock, so, it's 8 o'clock Eastern time, so I know this is, this is in Minecraft Monday night. I uh, got to definitely hide. You know, I have to do some highlighting on that red. But I felt like going on to something, to doing the skull. You better secure your 824 left. Now, which one? You're, you, you still work somewhere near um, where my husband does, right? Believe me, I said, I know I'm like an abomination because I've so I've worked at the same place for 28 years. And I plan on not leaving. I mean, since I only got about 15 years to go. I actually, I'm not sure what retirement age is for me. So maybe more than 15. That's it. You know what? I could jack up my rates and so I actually pay pay myself a living wage and say, oh, you got to friggin' hire me and uh, do this full time now. But I don't want to do that. I like my, I actually like my job. Yes, and that's not, and that's a security job. Yeah, I know that's something, you do something else there. You know, that has a weird, there's a little thing in here I thought was part of the skull, but that looks weird. I mean, I guess it's the jawbone. Probably go back over there with the darker color. Wait, what? <laughs> well, all right. So say I I will qualify that. I do love my job. I love designing stuff. I love problem solving, which is a lot of my job. What I don't love about my job is, well, some of the brain dead people. <laughs> that I have to deal with. <laughs> ha, I threw my brush, but I didn't throw it on the ground. Um, the people that have no common sense. But for the most part, even I don't hate them. I don't hate anybody. My job, I'm not so sure, loves me either. I was going to say, my client, yeah, well, you yeah, know, it's funny. Some of my clients are absolutely, as you find that, though, even probably in your line of work, some of your clients are friggin' amazing, you know, always get you, like in my case, they always get me supplied art that I can work with. They're very clear about what they want and then there's those other ones that have zero clue what they're doing um the only ones i really that i i don't really know because i don't deal with them even because i'm not a salesperson thank god uh nobody really want me to be a salesperson i tell them i tell, i probably tell them to have fought the bad ones to to go screw <coughs> Um, but for them, I mean, most of the people we deal with are nice people, but some of them are just, you know, a little more clueless than others. But honestly, to be fair, I went to school 
for for design. So, you know, I went to school, learned Adobe Illustrator, learned learned the principle of design. The one thing I didn't really learn was much about silk screening, and I learned that on the job. And the people we deal with, they don't have a clue. They don't they, they weren't they're not art they're not designers. Some of them are designers, but they design stuff that doesn't work for silk screen because they don't know silk screening. They don't know how it works. So, you know, to be fair, that's what I get paid to do is to tell them what they need to do or help them turn their design idea into reality. Make it so that it works. It, it you know, that's part of, and that's the part I actually really like is is do is I love troubleshooting and problem solving and stuff and such. I get annoyed at myself plenty of times when, I mean, I'm only a human being, unfortunately. I realize, I mean, I'm okay with honest mistakes from other people. It's when, when it's something where I can tell that that person has just been lazy, that's when I kind of, you know, it's like, come on. Or it's, or it's just a lack of common sense. Like if I tell them how dumb they are, no, I don't, I don't, well, remember, I don't deal with them, so... I don't tell them how dumb they are. And that's not that they're dumb. Not being dumb, I mean, it's sort of like, okay, so there's basically two people in my department right now. And maybe, I guess we could say two and a half. But he works in layout, not as a full-time designer. He's starting to actually do a few things but um, to try to help out. And he actually worked, the new guy worked for us years ago, like 20 years ago. And uh, things have changed, so he came back. Um, but case in point, my supervisor doesn't really do what I do. She, she is amazing when it comes to digital printing. She, she runs all the digital presses, or basically the laser printers. But, I mean, these are high-end, you know... I keep, I keep talking instead of painting, and I don't want the paint to dry my brush. Um, basically, she runs those things. Don't ask me how they work. That's not what I do. But in the same vein, she doesn't do all the silk. She doesn't, you know, take the artworks and make them for silkscreen films and such. So that's what I do. And so I know stuff to look for that she wouldn't have a clue about. And customers, same thing. You know, it's it's not... It's not as easy as you think it might be. It's the, and you know what the the best thing about my job is, it uh, it changes. I mean, I, I love the challenges because people are still sending me stuff that I haven't. I have to actually figure out how to make work, and I've never they like things that I've never. They try to do things I've never seen before, and it's really to me it's a lot of fun to go and figure out how to do it. And execute something, and it's hugely satisfac. Uh, I get a lot of satisfaction when it works. It's when it doesn't work, then, or I make a mistake that sneaks its way through. I mean, I said I'm a human being, and so are we all. So once, once in a great while, I think, I think in about a thousand jobs I do a year, I get about three that come back to haunt me. One to three. There have been, I've never had a year where I've gotten away without any. Some years, a lot of years, I got away with one, and then last year I had like three, so. But I had a lot more work last year. We had two artists and a person that checked all the films, and now we have one artist and no one to check all the films. So that's the other thing she does is she checks films. Put a little highlight on the skull. I said, and that's the thing is, there's a lot I like about my job and I've sort of, I have obviously looked. You know, who, who doesn't? I did look. I have a, I have a resume out there. Um, but quite honestly, it's 
basically it's just hard to find anything where where I'd be doing exactly what I'm doing now and I really like what I'm doing now so So I do not have the complaints and said, Smart Goblin, you have every, I'll tell you what, I'm glad you got a job in so quickly because that, I could not deal with the stuff you were going through. The crazy long hours, the, I've been in my place long enough that basically I can, I could kill somebody and they'd help me bury the body because, uh, it sounds so egotistical, but it's not because no one else does what I do, you know, and having, to, you know, losing somebody with 25, or sorry, 28 years of experience doing what I do, that they don't want to do that. So they'll help me bury the body. I could get away with murder. I could probably kill one of my less experienced coworkers and they wouldn't care. That's not true, but uh, the point being that uh, I don't expect to go anywhere. Getting a little bit more of the, this warm, you know, tan color. I'm trying to get away a little bit from the black and a couple spots here in the skull. Oh yeah, so I'm sorry. Let's see. I don't think you answered. Ew, maybe you did. I was going to say, what are you working on, Smart? Because you're usually always working on something. Oh yeah, are you, I said, what are you working on? Let's see. Posting, oh, you're going to post pictures. I don't think it's discouraged. Right? You didn't actually tell me what you were working on, though. Oh, you did post it already. Oh. Never mind. So. Oh! And actually, one of my other friends posted in there too, in the work in progress. So you're working on another. You work on so many minis. It's just crazy. I'll leave this for. I'll leave this and I will, I will share once you're done. But I know. Oh, I recognize it. Oh! By the way, you just reminded me. Because I got the middle guy. Which I can't remember what the hell that is. What he's called. You'll I know you know what it is. But the middle guy I know is a Reaper mini. They probably all are, all are. I know you really you're like me, you like Reapers. That's right. I just got stuff from Reaper. And since there's some of you on here. What did I get? I did open the box already. They said, oh, I'll share with a few people. Alright, so I got new paint, which I really should take out of the bottle, out of the thing. This in, and Clark, my name. This indigo triad. So it's got a black indigo. It says rich indigo, but to me that's blue, and uh, and some sort of a violet. <coughs> to me, indigo should be more purple than this, but that's me being picky. I don't care. I like the colors. So I got paint. Then I got, let's see, I'll save that for last. 
Come on, flip right side up. Well, I get... Uh, unfortunately, I can see her back, but I get Persephone, a uh, mythic heroine. She's really cool. Got a lot of really good fabric on her to do. The first, okay, so here's what it is. First is a Chaos Ball Dragon kin. Arcus Harn, oh, Arcus Harn, Dwarf Witch Hunter, Reaper, and a WizKids Wizard. Now, the Chaos Ball Dragon, what, um, is, what company makes that? It is cool. Then I also got this guy. I got a brewmaster to go along with all the other piratey type things in the town of Brynwyn. Mm. He's got like, he's holding a bunch of cups and mugs. There we go. He'll probably, I'll probably at some point, hopefully I'll paint him up, even though. Oh, cool mini or not? Oh, okay. Cool Mini or not does have cool minis. Then I thought this was really good. Bone, she's Bone Hedge. I'm not, I forget what the heck she is for a class, but I really like her. She, she looks kind of druidy to me. But it's funny, I don't think she was necessarily listed as a druid, but she's cool. I sort of have an order here. So for my freebie one I picked out, I picked out one that my hubby will like. It's um, this Pulpera Professor. I'm pretty sure I don't have one. But it's a Call of Cthulhu type mini. They'll go great with the rest of them. But I'm pretty sure I don't really have them even though I bought, I have a bunch of the uh, Call of Cthulhu guys like that. Save that one. Of course, this was my St. Patrick's Day, so I did get the Leprechaun. And I'll probably be painting this next year on stream with his little mushroom buddy. Oh, Smart Goblin already painted him. I'm pretty sure. I remember seeing it. But see, I ordered the... I'll show you in a sec. Oh, I know it's not Christmas, and it's upside down. But I also did get this Gingerbread Knight. One a quarter, wait, pointing one what a quarter? So I get the gingerbread knight, which looked like a ton of fun. I'll probably paint them around Christmas. And then the last two, which I really am excited about. The first one, and the reason why the order got, oh, come on, flip back around. Fine. The first one I'm excited about, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. The leprechaun and mushroom. Oh, did you buy four? I just wanted it for like St. Patrick's Day. You bought five. I just got the one. Actually, your friend uh, Dana said he'd love to get, he wanted to get like five mushrooms. So one of the things I did get was I did get the charity bird, the nightingale, um, that they're doing for uh, the relief in Ukraine. And, I mean, I'm a big fan of bards, right, Smart Goblin? Right? Well, this one's for charity, so it's like I had to get it. I might, might, I might try to paint it. Nope. <laughs> I might try to paint it on stream next, because I just got it, and it's relevant. I might actually do it before I start the next Kurt Roll mini. I really like this. I love this little figure, though. I wanted, I was, you know, I was happy to do it for charity. And then, um, but it also didn't hurt. It was a, it's a bird bard. And then, the last but not least, and this I did, this was another freebie. I got a preview of, you know, they're putting him in. It's that little set of minis. It's the adventuring party. All the bases go together. I got, I got, I think it's the Barbarian or the Fighter. That's part of that set. Like it says Bone Six. So if you're right now, you get one of these, randomly get one of these. So that's evil though. Collect all five. 
uh, that's not happening. But I really, I actually really think it's a, this is a cool concept. I have, and yeah, I'm probably gonna, I've seen enough that I'm probably gonna buy. Oh, you got the dwarf cork that goes with it. Hi, Dwayne. What, this is cool? I think this is really cool. As I said, I've seen the set, uh, the entire set painted. Whoa. Uh, that Rhonda Bender did. By the way, Dwayne, I did show it earlier. Oh, I did want to let you know. When you post your work, work in progresses, just so people go there, because they may not necessarily go to the, the, the one hour photo. But uh, I did show the I did show off the uh, this here. I'll go back because he's on. And I, this is somebody I really want to encourage to keep posting. Oh, uh, Dwayne, just out of curiosity, do you want to make it so that that roof goes on and off? Like I can see it now, it's kind of tilted upwards. I can tell you how to do it, so you can actually snap it in and out, and so you can pull it off to play with it. It's basically. Oh, you did? So did you shave down? Like, I took and shaved down this half. Because, see, it actually goes in more. That's sort of just sitting on top. There's actually, like, a little, um... What's the friggin' word? There's, like, a little indent in the wall over here, in all the walls. So, like, because that's not, that's not in completely. So I basically shaved down these two sides... Not glue. Well, yeah, but the thing of it is it doesn't snap all the way in either. Like, if you look, your roof is crooked. It, it slants upwards because it's not all the way in. I found I had to actually said shave down this the, this edge and on the other side. I mean, you can leave. I don't think. I'm trying to remember if I had to shave the middle part here, too. I don't think so. I think I just had to do this edge. And the other one, and then it snaps all the way in, and your roof will be flat. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you can leave it like that; it won't hurt anything. It's just the roof is a little crooked. But you know, maybe it is crooked. That's true. The roof could be crooked. But yeah, I just said I just basically I started with like an exacto knife and and trimmed off a little bit, and then I kept filing it just kept working on it until it snapped in place and I can pull it up I could pull it in and out <laughs> <coughs> I'm an awful person but but anyways I would tell you po post your stuff in uh, work in progress oh my god and I wasn't gonna do this but there's the ones, Lucas. I'm oh, sorry, Smart Goblin. You probably didn't want me using his actual name on here. The Smart Goblin. Sorry, I use like people's names on here if they know them, and I, it's a bad habit. And I'm so sorry. Uh, but don't use your last name so people can't hunt you down. And I said, this is my friend Dana. Oh, I wasn't gonna show her my stuff because I want to paint. Let me go back. So I said, and once again, this was, this is, this is Kevin's. But yeah, he's going to paint the base. And he's going to paint the little, the pose. He actually, oh, you know what? Let me actually point this out. So he did something kind of cool. He built a post. He put this post in instead of the normal jump things because they go really high for some reason on, he was telling me, they kind of go up to the top there and it's like, uh, this might be a better solution. <laughs> it's a 3D painted pillar. That works. Oh, ha, and he put it, all right, fine. This is stuff that's finished. Although he put it in hanging out at the bar instead of in whatever. I, by the way, I'm not going to be that picky, but it would be nice if people put him in where they belong. He did some excellent, excellent work. I got to see these up close and personal, and these are excellent. Uh, his his actual name he's his actual name is first name is Eric, and I met him at well I met him through Discord, 
He actually actually puts does stuff in the Reaper Challenge League, and these are, I believe, I'm pretty sure this one is for Reaper Challenge League. Here's the front of it. And that's just, he is a good painter. He actually won one of the divisions at Tolokan, so. But great work. Um, it's a really good painter. But Matt, yeah, and so we hung out, basically, we, me, uh, Gel Tip, and him, we all hung out at, we hung out a lot at Toltecon at the uh, painting table, so. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 8.25. Okay, so I get another half hour. They have no, like, oh yeah, that's right. That was the other thing you were talking about, how the, the jump things have no, like, they don't have enough contact with the mini to really hang on there, like stick to it very well. People do it, but I am totally get it. I kind of scratch my head. How do people do it? You know, I don't understand it. All right, I'm going to put all this stuff away. But I will say this. If people put the things in the proper channels, it'll probably be more likely people will go see them. Because people want to see the minis in the mini channels. They might not necessarily want to see the, my vacation pics in, in the um, one hour photo. <laughs> so, but Dwayne, good job. It's, that's going to come out really nice. Um, it's a, regardless of whether or not you decide to shave the edge off or not so that it closes flat. But, it, but that's only, and I, I looked it up. Believe me, I looked it up to try to find an easier way, and that was what people said to do. So, oh, yes, W, yeah, if it's, well, if it's finished, put it in finished. If it's, yes, W, work in progress. That put your, because I said, I don't, I don't know if people necessarily go to all the channels on this. And if you put it in there, people will be sure to see it. They may not see it if you put it in the other one because that's, I put that more or less, if you have, let's say you wanted to share your adventures. Like, let's say you go out and you do something exciting, like go to ReaperCon or go to, you know, or go to a convention or whatever. Or like, so in my case, I, I didn't yesterday, but I've taken pictures of some of my painting events and thrown them in there. But if you have that, if you have pet pics, we have a section for pet pics, of course. If you want to talk about gaming, I keep saying I want I love people to talk about gaming more. Oh boy, look at this base. Oh. That base is like, you know, that's a shame. Okay, I mean, my view on that base. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> I mean, it's not great anyways, I don't think. Hang on. I'm oh, gonna no, move this over. Okay, the flight stand is horrible. Yeah, the flight stand. Well, I mean, it depends. If it, if it had like an actual thing it inserted here, that wouldn't be so bad. But if this is just kind of glued on, blah, that's just I I wouldn't know how, like I wouldn't know how it would stay together. The paint's okay in the base. I just feel like it's a little boring. I wish they'd done a little more with it. <laughs> Also, they probably should have sanded this down. I mean, like, I see rough spots in there. Granted, they probably, I mean, if they, especially if they're using this as a, um, especially if, they, if they're using this for an army, it's fine, actually, if they get, like, a zillion others. Keep the bases simple. I also wish there's, there doesn't seem to be much edge. Now I'm going to freaking nitpick it. I love the colors, by the way. I'm going to always say something nice. I wish there was a little more edge. There was some edge lining on that. The blue is all kind of flat. Granted, it's probably metallic. And maybe there is... Oh, no, there is, there, maybe there is some edge lining. But maybe it's getting lost in the... Maybe it's the photograph. Which now I suspect could be. Maybe he's got it done. Or, they, or she's got it done. 
But I love the colors. I love that color blue, and I love the yellow and that copper with it. They look so. That looks really good. But yeah. the only thing is, I will say they kept the stand very clear. I've actually, I've actually had stands that kind of got frosted because I sealed them. I'm like, and eh, whatever, it's fine. It's just, it's just the stand. I don't care. But he kept it. They kept it really nice and clear, and I got a kudos on that. Didn't get any paint on it. I am, like, bad at getting paint on my clear bases. I'm not perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. So, um... I know, but as I said, it's fun to look at work. It really is fun to look at work, and, and I like to analyze it and such. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Which is, yeah, and you know, that probably be smart on my part, too. Is that I definitely give him kudos for, for doing it the right order. But, um... Yeah, I can't believe that flight base goes so high up in the... And it goes practically into the... It goes midway up the back, and it's that is, you know, you would think you put it the flight base in around the waist. I mean, maybe I'm wondering if it's supposed to be like the suggestion of the movement, though. It is sort of curved, like he's jumping off the ground, and sort of follows that. Yeah, exactly. And I'd say I hate that. I hate that with a passion when things don't really have a hole to go in. Uh, that's what she said. Beach it to it. That just had a whole... Yeah, yeah, see, I beat you to it. Although, granted, who knows, because, because it lags a bit on my end from when I say it. So, it just popped up. <laughs> feel like I haven't gotten crap done on this thing. All right, let me, let me see. I want to take a uh, lighter red. Actually, how light do I want to go? Maybe I'll take orange. <coughs> so, I agree, but I do agree with you. I think that's, that's a hugely, not having, you know, God, this sounds so. Not having a hole for the for anything, and it doesn't matter any body part. Cause I'm gonna make it worse. Uh, to go in or any any part, whatever to go in. It just it it's so difficult to deal with. Um. You know, I've done. It's been, although it's not quite as bad where it's plastic. The worst is trying to put metal together when you don't have a sufficient amount of uh, surface what's the word I'm looking for the surface you connect the two parts with when you don't have enough of it it's awful the thing doesn't stick or if it's too heavy then it's even then it doesn't stick either it won't stay because I have I bought a I called it the Dwarven Rafflecopter I'll bet I'll bet there's a huge 3D print market for all 10 flying bases. Fortunately, I, fortunately, I would hope they still, because I know what they say, the rules that like some of the big tournaments are, no 3D printed minis, but I assume that's the whole mini, not just a component of the mini. No, what have you got? All right, let's see. Oh my Lord. This, all right, let's see. This is legitimately cool. That is a really cool fly, uh, flight base. I mean, that makes so much sense. I wonder if they have any that are a little higher, like really boost the guy up. But that is a friggin' totally, that's a really awesome concept. Same mini. 
Oh, they do have different heights, don't? Or is that just three angles of the same thing? Because I'm also look at this first one, and it almost looks like he's higher up on the thing than than the side view and the, the back. I can't tell, which was a little. It'd be cool to be a little higher. That's just me being nitpicky. I think it's really cool. Ah. Uh. Oh, so they are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it is different. It is different. And that guy, I think on the, I think the the front side is a. Is a. I think he might be a little higher. I like it though. That's cool. Barry, I so say. Yeah, uh, I I can see. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'd be. I'm not doing those guys. I don't believe orcs have, jetpacks. So I. Uh, I don't recall. I don't think I have really any flying bases. I don't remember. Mine all ride on, in on the ground. Oh, I have the DACA jet, which has its own fly. But that flying base is simple. It just, uh, it's basically just goes in through the, you know, bottom of the jet. That's pretty cool. Uh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> I'll look at it later. I will definitely look at it later, Cyrus. When I get off of this, I will definitely go and and comment on everybody's stuff. By the way, if I don't comment, I'll at least get a little purple heart to know that I looked at it. There are ways you can actually see who who's posted what uh, emotes, although it might require a computer, and not a phone. But I always, yeah, I will, that's the thing is, no matter what, I can't control what everyone else does on my, on my server, but I can control what I do, and I want to make sure I see everybody's things, and either comment on it, I said, obviously Dwayne knows I saw his, because <laughs> I went back and put it on stream. And yes, chances are, especially if you finish something, I'm going to try to do... I'm going to try to each night of stream, I'm going to try to do a little thing where I go back, at least to the finish minis, and show them off there. If you have something in work in progress, give me a link. But otherwise, I want I don't want to be doing, I don't want to be sharing all night. I want to paint. Is that fair? That's what I'll try to do. But I do appreciate everybody posting and your work in progress. I... I said, you guys inspire me, so you really do. And uh, I'm so, th truth be told, I am absolutely thrilled with the way the server is going, too. I'm thrilled. It may not be the busiest server out there. It may not be the most talky server, but I love the fact that people do post their stuff. A painting channel where the host paints. Well, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> there's actually a, there's actually quite a few discords, if that's what you mean. That that people you know streamers have their own. Uh, I was gonna say I'm on a bunch of them. I keep adding more and more and more too, and it's like oh my lord, I have so many discords now that I'm on. All right. Highlighting on that red. That's what I'm doing. Where do I want to highlight on this? I got on there and I didn't see it. It didn't do anything. I'm really glad I have some, some 3D printers like you on there. You and I'm trying to think who the Chenur does. Someone else too, I think.
biggest thing is I just I just want to encourage I guess I really just want to help people you know and support them and be fans of theirs or whatever even if you're really good you know beyond the point of where I can help you you know I still you're still you're still I mean, everybody's inspires me but I just want to be supportive and said encouraging to you to everybody on there to just get out a brush and paint I think it is the best hobby around Said if I could figure out, I'd love to do you. Well, that's that's not painting though, Crimson. That's that's other things. I said what I'd like to do someday too is eventually. I mentioned this. Eventually, utilize like the painting channel, like the the uh, voice channel, which of course you can use cameras at, and basically have people get together and paint there. Including me. But you're right, I'd, I'd have to drop, you know, probably some of my six games and three nights of streaming. Beat you to it. You can help yourself, though. Oh, I keep sliding my thing over here. Basically, since I'm off, since I'm falling off my camera again, I'm basically putting some highlights in on this red. I think maybe I should save. Oh, cool! The dwarf is cool. I really, I like that model. I have one of them too because he was a free. I think he was a freebie. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should save the. Oh God, I don't want to get too far away from Kurt Rolled these because I really want to paint these. Um. But I do have said I have the charity bird I think I want to do and I have the bone six uh, mini there and what I'm thinking I might do is maybe when bone six launches I should paint that on stream. That is a cool mini.
setting glazing a little red over the spots I highlighted. Make them a little less orange. This is actually a lighter red. I'm trying to blend it in a little too. Just like this one needs a little more. Ugh. Problem is these things are so small. Let me get my thing up. These uh, these these little things I'm painting on are so small. I'm trying to do it without a ton of paint in my brush, but it dries. Just not quite enough. Water in the paint. Not quite glazy enough. Glaze must be really see through. Just ever so much slightly tint the color. Thanks. That's easy enough. I'm just going to wick it away. I'll do the same thing on this side. I think I was a little too thick. The, the red I'm using the glaze is a, was a little too thick. Sometimes it also takes a few layers. All right, Sianas, have a lovely night. I'll be off for the night, too, in like 10 minutes. Not quite sure what I want to do. Where I want to send us off, I just want to kill stream. There are people mini painting. There's also, there's also a Starfinder game going on. Where they're playing uh, the last part of Junker's Delight tonight.
to take... Oh, I do have colors on here. I'm just going to try something. So that's a dark, it's actually something I usually use. It's a sepia toned. Because I want to make the boots and the stuff a little bit warmer. So I'm going to do some, I'm going to go for brown as my highlighting colors. it comes out looking brown that's dark brown that's fine too actually really like the color Actually, I may go in some of those recesses and make them black again. I don't think I want to actually make those. I just want to try to highlight those edges in those recesses. But basically leave them black. Black is a tricky color. Because how do you shadow black when black is the darkest color? And then when you put other colors, it sort of changes the look of black. I think a couple of things you can do is you just, you have little tiny highlights. You, you just leave it mostly black and just have some small but very white highlights. Or you can do it a, you can do it a color and then I'm going to try going back over it with a black glaze. I think is what I'm going to do. But 
But we'll see. I haven't figured that far out. Figured that much out that far ahead yet. I do kind of want the brown because I sort of, I, even though I do sort of want it to look black, I still want it, I want it to be warmer. And I, I noticed this on the grog picture that it does go into a kind of a warm, a warm color. It's like a warm gray. it's not entirely unhelpful to actually look at the way the light bounces off the mini Ugh. damn why can't I keep it on screen tonight this is really annoying So maybe this little armor that's on his arm will make it more brown. Good night, smart. Have fun. I've heard a lot of people seem to be playing that right now. I will definitely check out what you did on Discord when I get off of here. If you added any pictures. What time is it? Anyway, oh, it's one minute till. Maybe I'll do a slight amount of bonus time here.
just to work a bit more in the get one of the well I should get both boots done at least the this preliminary color don't want to be on too long of other things I should probably work on After I get, I'm just going to do a little bit of this, adding a little bit more of this brown to the, to the other boot, and then I think I'll call it a night. At least stream-wise, I'll still be up. Because Lord knows I, like, don't go to bed at any reasonable hour. Thank you, by the way. Here's what I said. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, you know, I was going to say, there's still more to go. I'll bet you two to three more sessions on this. And then I said, I think I'm going to work on, I'm going to do... Actually, I'll see what time, I'll see what date it is. I do want to do the bird, but I also, when Bone 6 launches, I think I want to do that Bone 6 preview mini. Or maybe I'll do it next, I don't know. They're both relevant, what do I do? I can look and see if there's a deadline on the, um... I want to buy a bird buy to so that the money actually gets donated, but I don't know if there's a deadline. Also, your obsidian crypt. Well, it's well, it's well paint. Your first base coat is it looks good on there. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with that. for funsies because I, I really want to find out what this is going to look like if I do it. I'm going to make a black lace and I'm going to go over all that. Instead of like washing a black glaze will it will still sh it's translucent 
So you see the lighter spots, but it should color them more back to black. But it'll keep it, hopefully, a warm black. If it goes too far, that's alright. Then I'll just go back to my original, my other idea. Which is just do a bunch of small highlights. But I think, looks like there. I think it's going to work. An ink wash, which are the ones that usually come pre-made, or I think there are ways you can make it yourself. But honestly, I'd say just get the ones that are already made. Save yourself the trouble. <laughs> An ink wash is meant to sit in the cracks and not so much in the top. If you use a pigment, like I'm doing here, which is just take paint and add a lot of water, that paint will, will cover pretty much everything. But it is still thin and translucent, so some of it should bring it back to more black, but it should also be influenced by the color you've got underneath it that you're covering. I just basically want to warm up the black a little bit. I'd still like it to appear like a warm black. And if it's too thick and you're quick, just go back over it with a brush with a little bit of water on it. Actually, the important person that I'm pleasing here is my, what I said, my awesome husband. And he is happy with the way he's coming out. So I can't complain there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's kind of the direction I'm going in. In fact, it looks like I could use another little coat. some of the darker spots here. These are very recessed. They should be pretty dark. In a way, I was afraid it was going to cover it too much. That's pretty good. Although I think I'm going to take... That's a recess. All right. Five of us left? Do we want to go somewhere? Hmm. Anybody in chat have a suggestion of where you'd like to go? Otherwise, I mean, I got... So I got Dr. Rhino, who's got the most. Splinter Brush Studio, Wicked Mini Painting, Painter, Painter? Painting. Go to Blam. Well, said she's not watching. Otherwise, I'd I'd be tempted to go to Blam 
from Minecraft Monday. And my Starfinder person just left. So, eh. What the heck just happened? Alright, so. We got a wicked May painting. Give him a couple of views or whatever. Wicked Minty Painting. Mini painting. Let's hope I do this right, huh? Alright, so as usual, I'll say thank you for tuning in. I'll be back on Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, I'll also be on Thursday. I'll be on M Hobo Inc. doing the Craig campaign, which is... Well, we may lose. We'll see if we all survive the night. It's, it's, it's a little iffy right now. Um, and then Saturday is still a question mark. I still have no idea what my wonderful brother wants to do for his birthday. I'm not sure if I'm going to be on or not. Can you stay tuned, I guess? Maybe I'll hear by Wednesday. Uh, so that's my weekly schedule. Um, otherwise, that's it. I hope I see you on Wednesday. Alright, so read, and we're going to go reading Wicked Mini Painting, who is a, and then again, every, anybody I pretty much have on here, I think, I personally think it's awesome. That's just me, though. But check him out, and I'll give him a follow, and make sure I get the right name here. Alright, guys. Also, how long has he been on? Oh, I don't know. All right, well, all right. So everyone have a wonderful rest of your Monday for whatever it is. And hopefully I'll see you Wednesday. So let's go reading. For what few of us there are. All right, awesome. Thank you guys all for coming along. And happy painting. Oh, that's him.